His age is 83 years old. After completing the engineering in 66, I got an opportunity to go abroad for higher studies in Syracuse University, New York with a full scholarship, with a fellowship supported by NASA. Actually, I thought I have completed all my studies and I won't take back my books and start studies. IATM said, if you waive your fees, are you prepared to study? And I said, definitely. And now I feel very proud of becoming a student. I can tell everybody that I am a student in IITM. Hello everyone and welcome to this amazing episodes of story of IITM BS. So today we have with us Nandakumar K. Menon, who is a student of IITM BS. And can you guess his age? 60, 70, 80? No. His age is 83 years old and we are really grateful to have him with us today. So today we'll have an interesting conversation with him and get to know his inspiring journey of IITM BS degree. So hello sir, how are you today? Oh yeah, I'm feeling very fine. So can you give a brief introduction about yourself? Uh, no, actually I have passed out my engineering in 1966 okay. from CET to Okay. Before that, I did my uh, bachelor degree in mathematics and uh, I have completed MSc course in statistics wow. but I didn't, I didn't write the final exam. First year I passed, second year I completed the course, then I switched over to engineering. After completing the engineering in 66, I got an opportunity to go abroad wow. for higher studies in uh, Syracuse University, New York. Yeah, with a full scholarship, with a fellowship, supported by NASA. Amazing. And uh, my subject was cryogenics. I completed cryogenics and came back. I could have stayed there. Yes. I, and that was a mistake on my part when I look back. Because even after completing masters in uh, cryogenics, I didn't get an opportunity here after coming back to serve in that field. Right. Uh, at that time, actually nobody was there in India who is properly uh, completed the course in cryogenics at that time. But I didn't get, even, at the, even then I, I didn't get a chance. Hmm. Then, uh, that was the end of my cryogenics journey. Okay. Then I worked in different fields and... Right. So, like, how did your journey of IITM BS degree start? How did you discover about the program? Actually, I thought I have completed all my studies and I won't take back my books and start studies. Yeah. But my son, who is actually an advocate, okay. he saw this advertisement that IITM was offering a course in data science. So, he wanted to study that and he applied for it. Hmm. Then he thought, Maybe if uh, I also join for the course, hmm. maybe in between if he has some problems, uh, there is somebody else to support him. Yes. But when completing that entrance exam, he couldn't get through. Okay. I got through. Wow. Yeah, I never thought of that. Then I joined the course. I know, but at that time, there was a, a somewhere around 5 to 6 lakhs of rupees as fees. Then I, then I wrote a letter, my son-in-law, my daughter's husband, he gave me a letter and he wrote a letter for me. Right. After completing this course, I don't think I'm going to do anything further. So I didn't want to spend that much of money. Okay. Then IITM said, if you waive your fees, are you prepared to study? Then I said, definitely. Right. That way they waived all my fees and I start, entered, I became a student of, and now I feel very proud of becoming a student. I can tell everybody that I am a student right. in IITM. And my children, grandchildren, if they get inspired because of my... Of course. Very true. And not just your grandchildren and your family, yeah, but we yeah. have we have the whole pool of IITM BS degree students, uh, over 29,000 people who will be, you know, 
taking you as an inspiration and you know you are actually proving that age is not a barrier to you know study or you know continue the process of learning so you are a big source of in inspiration for me sir and i i myself am very grateful to be you know having a conversation with a person like you so how is it like uh, the coursework uh, of iit mbs how is it like going through the uh, assignments the quizzes the end term exams how is the experience and i going? really enjoy i really enjoy and uh, maybe that also may be an inspiration for others yes and uh, every day in the morning i get up at 4:30 every day and i spend a lot of time for studying wow you know whatever i study i am not fully satisfied my aim maybe i would reach there my aim is to go above the instructor who is teaching me wow yeah that's what i am trying for but may not at this you know one of the problem at this age i can understand the thing but keeping in mind and uh, you know once i see a question immediately bringing all that out it is it's a problem it takes time yeah when i was a student that was much easier right but still i try i am not prepared to give up I mean, uh, first of all, the point that you made, you wake up at 4:30 a.m. and you start your uh, studies, and uh, you know that is a very big uh, inspiration because uh, at this age, at the age of 83, you know, getting up in the morning, early in the morning, and you know, sitting for studies is something that uh, you know no one can expect from uh, you know a person who is aged above 80. So, and uh, and one more information, I'm still working. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I uh, go to the office by around 9:30, and uh, work up to one o'clock. Afternoon, I uh, need a nap. Definitely. Yeah. Then in the evening, I go up to 10:30 almost every day. I enjoy it. you enjoy the process absolutely that is the thing uh, you enjoy the process which is why you are able to wake up in the morning give few hours for your studies and you are managing it with your working hours at the age of 83 i mean uh, never i i have never imagined uh, this thing that a person of this age can manage so many things like waking up early staying on time in the routine working in the office hours and then after working managing the family time the course work the working hours how do you do that sir how do you manage your time uh, and i am enjoying all that you are and, and uh, i have some physical problems okay and i have shivering of my hands hmm. you know but my way of studying i want to prepare notes wow you know whatever that is given in the class i want to prepare the notes for all that thing and it takes a long time for writing yes but still i i don't give up i keep on trying and that is commendable i mean uh, uh, sir mentioned that he has the shivering of hand and of course you know when a person crosses even 60 years of age there are a lot of physical problems that pop in so you know at 83 you know preparing notes like a normal 16 17 year old oh, yeah. student is yeah. something uh, really commendable sir uh, you are an inspiration definitely uh, you are the next i'll say the next apj abdul kalam for Sorry. the young Sorry. generation no looking at your spirit and the enthusiasm that you have at this age the eagerness to learn is something that's really inspiring so what message would you like to give to the students who will be watching this uh, podcast uh, no, don't give up anything you uh, everybody has got a lot of uh, ability right and uh, they uh, and one more thing you know many people in our country they uh, get retired by the age of 55 yeah at that age they are in need of lot more support financial support hmm. their children might be getting married hmm. and maybe their children's education right. at that time if they uh, retire they will be having financial difficulties yes even at that age at that age if i can do this much many others can also of course of course like uh, like people watching this like if sir can do this at the age of 83 if sir can work and you know study like a proper student and manage his time get early get up early in the morning i think he is an inspiration for all the students out there and a big you know he's a big testimonial for the fact that age is not a barrier for learning so sir uh, your journey is really inspirational is there anything that you would like to uh, you know send a message to the students 
And uh, one more thing, I am um, from from the part of IATM. They are giving me all kinds of support. That is great too. And here, whenever I have any problem, Kirtika is always there to help me. And I have a mentor right. given from here, one wow. Giri Subramanya. Okay. Today I went to his house. When I look at him straight away, he's a very smart boy, like this. but he is fantastic. Right. He, he is too good. Absolutely. So definitely, uh, IITM really supports uh, the courage that you have and the eagerness to learn that you have at this age, which is why you know uh, we uh, it's really supportive towards your aspirations and everything. And uh, I'm really uh, great. Uh, grateful to know that you know you are getting the support and on the other hand you are having that enthusiasm of showing up all the time so that is a very big factor sir it really inspires all the students